Hello, my name is Leslie Garrett, Director of, Director of Delivery. I have over 18 plus years of BI experience and I'm birth certified and I'm a proud veteran of the you know, US Air Force retired 23 years. Today we're going to be discussing just how to use column selectors and pivot controls within BIRS. Let's get right into the demo. So what I've done here is basically created a, a, a very basic dashboard of funnel, if you will. And you can see it's, it's tracking my beverages um, in terms of amount and totals. But it's a pretty bland chart, right? But so we're going to change it. We're going to make it very dynamic. We're going to add in a column um, selector as well as pivot control, which allows us to, to basically switch columns and rolls around just like in Excel. So let's get right in where it started. So I'm going to basically edit my dashboard. So I'm going to right click and go edit. And we're going to add in a few features here. And as you can see, I have a number of um, options I can choose from on fields and columns. But again, I want to modify my existing report. And we're going to go down to what's called designer. So I'm launching designer. And if my, the designer blows up, and again, this is a total cloud solution. I'm actually operating from a wireless uh, laptop. So um, I love this solution because it allows me to basically have my access to my data anytime, anywhere. So the load is just checking my security to see what fields I can and cannot access. And here's my report. So, okay, so I'm going to modify it. So first thing I want to do is activate my pivot control. My pivot control, again, it allows me to basically swap data around if need be. And I will show you that, show you that just in a second. But first I want to show you how to use the column selector. Again, a column selector is basically going to allow you to, to add dynamic queries on the fly. So as you can see here, I have category name, which is my funnel. If I click, left click on my category name, there's an option called column selector. Click on column selector. And again, this is if I wanted to drag and drop fields from left to right, I can. If I want to bring in my country field or any field of choice to be able to dynamic select on, I can do that as well. So I'm going to go to my customer's attribute. And again, I'm just going to just demonstrate how to bring in my country within my column selector. It's a bit not a drag and drop. And again, I can continue to bring in my region if need be. And let's bring it over. Drag in my region. So these are just basically fields in which I want to be able to select on or drill down on, drill down on um, for further analysis. Again, creating dynamic queries within my report. I'm going to save and as you can see, I did, nothing's going to happen here, but I know it's, I'm going to show you where, where to activate later. So I'm going to save this report. Let's go to Report, Save. And now when I go back to my dashboard, we just got to activate a couple of properties. So I'm going to close here in my design mode. And before we save our dashboard, and then we're, now we're back to our dashboard mode, before we save it, we've got to change a few properties on the dash select. So I'm going to edit properties. And you see here there's something called, called an option called edit pivot control. So I'm going to select edit pivot control. Then I also want to enable my column selector. This is going to make my report or dashboard very dynamic on the fly just from a matter of clicks and a matter of seconds. Okay, so I'm going to now I want to be able to export to uh, PowerPoint and be able to schedule the flow. I'm going to save my funnel. Now I'm actually saving the dashboard. So all my options should, should apply and I should get some new prompts. Perfect. And as you can see here, I now have um, a column selection called category name. And there's my country, there's my region. So if I want to quickly and change my um, funnel on the fly, I can go to um, category to country. And it's going to Basically, rank my countries in order. Look at that. Got the USA. Got a, a hover over to my totals, total sales. Okay. Again, Germany. Again, it's just ranking in order. So, another option. What if you wanted to see what's going on behind the scenes? I can go from chart to table. And now I'm going to see where my data is coming from. Now, of course, when you finally see the underlying data, you may say, well, hey, I would love to be able to do analysis, but maybe I want to swap the columns around. So now I'm going to switch over to my pivot controls. So 
There's an option here called Show Pivot Controls. I'm just going to activate it. And again, what's happening, this is going out and checking my security and bringing back the database field, which I have access to on the left-hand side, all of my attributes, all of my measures, if you will. And again, I can do further analysis within the dashboard on the fly. So what I want to do is, instead of seeing my year in my column here, I'm going to I know it's my row, I'm going to bring my year over to my column. Just by dragging, I can I'll watch what happens to my report. Okay, and now I have to, you see I have my country analyzed by my, my, my years, 2010, 2011. And I can also bring in a field that's not actually within my report. So I'm going to go back to my time attribute. And just for demonstration purposes, we're going to bring in quarter. Because now I want to see analysis not only by year from my column, also by quarter. So I want to drag over quarter to my column, even though it's not in my report, and drop. And watch what happens to my report. Now I'm going to have a nice report um, broken up by year and by quarter. There my total sales in my country. And there you have it. Again, this can be easily exported to different formats. Um, again, scheduled, PowerPoint, etc. So Okay, so I'm going to jump back over to my um, PowerPoint, and we're going to wrap this up. Okay, so again, as you can see, this concludes my demo on how to create column selectors and pivot controls within Burst. Now, if you would like to engage with us, just visit our website and select one of our concierge services today. We thank you and enjoy the rest of your day.